Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're answering the question, should you switch from WordPress to a website builder? Today, there are so many great website builders out there. And although I know WordPress has been a dominant player in the website game for so long, in my opinion, I think website builders, they have a lot of great advantages that make them the perfect choice for many, many people. As you guys know, WordPress is extremely powerful. There is a reason why everyone makes a website using WordPress. It's because the functionality, the plugins, templates, everything, it's essentially limitless with what you can do with it. However, for most people, I think WordPress is sort of overkill. Most people are not gonna take advantage of all the different plugins. They don't care that much about SEO. They don't need to customize every little piece and detail of their website. And that's really where website builders come in, right? They make the website building process so much easier. Essentially what these website builders will allow us to do is use drag and drop builders to be able to create professional looking websites in a fraction of the time. There's also a much lower learning curve because yes, WordPress can be quite tough to learn. Before we actually talk about who exactly should make the switch from WordPress to a website builder. Let's talk about the pros of still using WordPress. First is the flexibility, right? So if you want the flexibility to make a really custom website, WordPress is likely gonna be a good choice. WordPress also has a ton of different plugins. So if you need a ton of different functionality, then it may make sense to stick with WordPress. There's also a huge community, meaning you can look up tutorials teaching you exactly how to do a ton of different things using WordPress. And if you guys have already spent a lot of hours learning WordPress, then maybe it still makes sense for you guys to stick with it. And lastly is control, right? You get full ownership of all the content you make. And that's something that a lot of people want. Now let's talk about the benefits of using a website builder. One, it's way more simple, right? So you guys can basically sign up for any website builder and create a good looking website in probably under one hour. It's also all in one. So you don't need to get separate hosting and all that stuff. All the hosting tools, themes, they're all bundled together in one thing. Maintenance is also a lot easier. There's automatic updates. You don't need to update plugins. And those to me are the biggest pros and benefits of using a website builder. You also might be asking yourself, what is the best website builder for me? Well, there are so many options out there. You really cannot go wrong. But personally, I think the hosting your website builder is extremely easy to use. Having one plan allows you to build up to a hundred different websites. And yes, you can choose to use their website builder or you can choose to go the more traditional route and just choose to build your website using WordPress with your hosting or hosting plan. Another one of our favorites is gonna be Squarespace. This is a great website builder that is more pricey, but it's all in one. They have really great professional looking templates. And if your goal is to just build one website really easily, then this could be a great choice. Either way, we'll have both of these links down below. We'll have exclusive discounts to them. And for example, if you guys use the hosting or link, make sure to use code myfirstwebsite at checkout because that's going to give you an additional discount that makes this the cheapest, most affordable plan that probably exists. Now, if you already have a WordPress website and you're thinking about making the switch, which here are some things that you do need to consider. First is the migration process, right? So if you want to move from WordPress to a website builder, it's not gonna be that simple. It's actually unlikely that you'll be able to take that exact same website and just transfer it over to the website builder. In this case, if you want the exact same website, I'd say it's probably not worth it. If you are trying to redesign your website, then yes, the migration might make sense. Another thing to consider is the cost, right? So for most website builders, they are gonna be more expensive than just using WordPress plus a hosting service. The exception of course is Hostinger because that comes with both a website builder as well as the ability to build using WordPress. So that's the one that we recommend. But usually website builders are gonna be at least two to three times the cost of a low cost WordPress host. For example, Squarespace, it definitely is more expensive. So you really do need to look at how much money you want to spend. However, if you're currently paying a good amount of money for your WordPress hosting, you can actually switch hosts while migrating your website pretty easily. So in that case, I just recommend going with Hostinger, setting up for one of their two or four year plans that basically locks you in at a super low rate for a long time. And over time, that's gonna save you guys a ton of money. Another big advantage of using WordPress is the SEO capabilities, right? There are so many plugins that can help you guys optimize for SEO. But if you're switching over to a website builder, yes, they do have tools, but the functionality is gonna be a lot more limited. So here's what I will say. If you are trying to create a simple website, whether it be a blog or a resume page or a portfolio, something where SEO is not super important, plus you don't have that much WordPress skill, then a website builder is gonna be by far way, way, way easier. If you don't have time to actually maintain and update the plugins for your WordPress website, you just want something that's a lot easier going forward, then that's when a website builder can also make sense. Personally, I think that's probably 90% of you guys watching this video do not need to use WordPress. I think it's too complicated. I think it's too advanced. You will likely not take advantage of all the customizability and the type of website you're trying to make, it's probably 
probably not going to be worth it to go with WordPress. You'll likely save a lot of time by just using a website builder. And while a lot of website builders are more expensive, just use Hostinger's website builder because it's extremely cheap and it's included in their web hosting. But yeah, essentially, I want you guys to weigh the pros and cons of each. Everyone's situation is going to be unique. So what makes sense for, let's say, person A might not make sense for person B. But like I said earlier, if I were to guess for a lot of you guys watching this video, if you already have a WordPress website, then switching over to a website builder is going to save you guys a lot of headache. Again, all the links to the resources we talked about in this video are going to be down below. My first website also has a free website setup service. So if you guys do want to learn more about that, you guys can check out our website down below. Anyways, I hope this video answered your questions. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to ask them down below. We'll try and get to answering them. And yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe if you want more free resources helping you build and grow your website. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.